We are Melissa and Jesse with Adventure Endeavor, and we have a serious problem. So if you're not familiar with our channel, I am Jesse, this is Melissa, and we have been full-time RVing for the past almost three years. And we have our fully built Ram here that tows our travel trailer. It's got long travel suspension, big tires, all that. We love off-roading. And we also are currently building a 89 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. One of our first problems we want to solve is that we live in the small RV full-time, so cold storage is limited. Our fridge is not that big, so every time that we go grocery shopping and bring in a new grocery haul for the week, we have to take out all of our bubbly waters and they never stay cold and so we always have warm drinks and that really bums us out so another one of our problems is on long travel days whether it be off-road or on-road we struggle to keep our drinks cold typically we just use a soft-sided cooler like this but unfortunately there's lack of space or we forget to add ice or frozen water bottles or whatever have you so we're constantly having warm drinks which is a big no-no for us so in the past, on week-long trips or more, we always had an issue keeping our food cold enough. Even when we had a heavy-duty Pelican cooler that was super thick, our ice would still melt gradually over several days, and we would have to buy more ice or find a way to refreeze water bottles, which was not really possible when we were on an extended road trip. Our food was getting soggy, you know, that we were constantly replacing ice, and it just wasn't up to par with what we actually needed. Yeah, one thing we didn't really like about a heavy-duty cooler was was how heavy it was. It was heavy and then you got to think about constantly pulling it out to dump ice in and just overall it just wasn't ideal. When we went full time in our RV we had the fridge in the RV which was great but we still needed coolers so right now we have a soft cooler and then we have our fridge in the RV and we're still lacking the storage space that we are looking for. Yeah we knew that there must be a better solution out there. And that solution is Iceco. It kind of happened at a perfect time. They happened to reach out to us and they're like hey would you like to try out one of our fridge freezers and we're like heck yeah we've actually been looking at them anyways they went ahead and they shipped us out a 68 quart dual zone so that means it's a fridge and also a freezer or it can be both freezers or both fridges we're super pumped because in our daily life because we can keep drinks cold if we want to get some more frozen meat yes. we, we like really high quality meat so we can freeze meat and keep it on the other side while we're traveling we're gonna have endless amounts of cold drinks which is amazing <laughs> Yes! Cold drinks, number one priority. And then on our overlanding trips or off-roading trips, it's gonna be nice to not have to worry about ice, food going bad, food getting soggy, stuff like that. So we're super excited. These things hold barely any power. And in this video, we're just gonna kinda unbox it, show you our thoughts, show you where we're potentially gonna keep it while we're traveling, what we think of first impressions. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wow! This thing is massive! First of all, first impressions. It is super streamlined and it looks it's like a work of art. They got their nice ice cold logo right here. I love the color. Is this like, it's like a weird grayish tan, right? Is that like, what would you call that color? Yeah, it's like. It's like gray, uh, but like tan. It's grand. Grand. It's grand. Tan. Grand Tan. Their logo looks great. Uh, this is the display. Obviously it has different modes, power, and I would assume this is temperature. We'll get into that a little bit more. Nice heavy duty latches that are steel, which is awesome. Obviously this is a two zone like we talked about. So when you open this one side, it's massive. There's so much room. They have a tray. This is gonna be super convenient for us if we wanna transfer stuff back into the RV. So if we go on a long trip and we're like, hey, we wanna put most of our food back in, we just grab this basket, has everything in there, we just put it back in. This appears right to be a light, which is awesome. There's a strap to hold the lid so it doesn't fall all the way backward. Look at how thick it is though. I know, like, the doors at, are super the thick. It's a good two inches or so. And then on the other side, it is a slightly different layout. Yeah, so it's got a smaller basket on the top, which is nice. 
nice. I mean, I feel like this could be good for like your condiments, like stuff that you don't want to get crushed, stuff like that, you know, put cans below. And then there's a really deep area on the other side. So it's why, really nice. So why is this like this? Is this like the cool where the cooling mechanism is? I would imagine that is okay. where the compressor is, which basically, you know, is the internal to the refrigerator. Okay. But what's nice too is, you know, maybe this smaller one will be the freezer for us and the larger one will be the fridge or vice versa, depending on the trip, depending on what we're doing. Let's take a look at the back. So they've got nice heavy duty hinges. I really like those. Yes, this is the compressor that we saw on the inside. It's vented, obviously, so it can let heat out. There's probably a, a fan in there and uh, that's what keeps this thing running. So it comes with an instruction manual and I liked it. They have any problems, blah, blah, blah. And then it also said if you have any problems or, or anything, you can reach them here through social media or email them directly. Awesome, gotta love that. This is a cigarette charger. So this looks like it plugs into the fridge. This plugs into your vehicle, boom, easy. And then as well, if you have shore power for us, okay, time out. Shore power is when you plug your RV into, you know, the grid uh, at somebody's house or an RV park or whatever. You could have this fridge outside of your trailer. You could have it plugged into 110. Our RV will eventually have full solar, so we will have 110 plugs that work off of solar. So basically, you got 12 volt, you got 110, you got options. All right guys, so I have to say, I'm pretty impressed on the weight. So the shipping box says that it weighs 66 pounds after you ditch all this cardboard and everything. Our old Pelican cooler weighed about 45 pounds. So for another 20 pounds essentially. You're getting a much superior product. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Okay dear, moment of truth. We have to see if it fits where we measured. Yeah, so I did a quick measurement. Our plan is to run it in the back seat of either the truck and or the Jeep. We can move it depending on what type of trip we're doing. So yeah, let's see if it, hopefully it fits. We got a larger one because we knew we would need the storage. Fingers crossed guys, come on, let's do it. Plan is to put it on the back seat and then eventually build some sort of platform to make it stable to where we can strap it down so it's not balancing around or moving around. And then obviously we should be able to find a power connection fairly easily. Let's see if it fits. We push the passenger seat all the way forward because you gotta remember, we actually drive separately now. I typically drive the Jeep, which hopefully it stays that way, babe. She drives the truck and tows the trailer. So it doesn't really matter if the front seat is pushed a little bit forward. We, we would rather have this space in this larger unit. All right, so it might be too big. <laughs> <laughs> we measured, kind of, but I also plan on potentially getting rid of part of the back seat or moving part of the back seat. Um, there's a lot of different mods you can do, but let's see how it fits with the front seat in place. Can you even sit up there? Yeah, I still have a good amount of leg room. Oh, really? I mean, the Ram back seats are pretty large, so there's the fridge. Feel decent there? It's pretty good. Are you able to slide the base forward more and recline a little bit? Not really. Go back. That's about it. A little bit. That's like How would very, that be road tripping? It'd be fine. I mean, it's very upright, but better for my posture. It's better for your posture. We're not 100% sure where we're going to situate it. When I was measuring, I remembered that I planned on doing a seat delete um, back here. We hardly ever have people in the truck, and now we have the Jeep as well, which is a six seater. This Ram is technically a six seater, and we just don't really use space in that aspect so we might get rid of this part and this part and we might do like a 60 40 seat and then build a platform we're not 100 percent sure but i think right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fridge out we're gonna plug it into 110 power see it get cold and uh just kind of make sure everything's working properly all right guys so we plugged in the ice co it turned on and we have a few different modes. So when you press mode, you can adjust your temperature up and down for the fridge side or what we assume is gonna be the fridge side. You hit mode again, and then you can adjust the opposite side. When you hit mode a third time, it gives you max or eco mode. And then there's a low, high, and a medium setting, which I'm guessing is power consumption as well, or fan speed. Just to show you guys a little bit of the size, these are eight packs of LaCroix, eight pack of bubbly. You could easily fit four of those. Obviously the light right here shuts off when you close the lid and it kind of tells you what food type and what temperatures they recommend, which is really cool. So for drinks, they recommend 41 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust our setting to that. And we might throw a water bottle on the other side to see if we can get it to freeze. So we're gonna set that at 25 degrees.
A lot of people don't like these fridges because they're always concerned that it's going to run the vehicle battery down. But this has a protection mode in it. So if you're running it, it will shut off the fridge and it'll kill the fridge and your vehicle should still be able to start. We plan on eventually probably adding a small solar panel to whatever vehicle this is going to live in. That way we just have peace of mind and our batteries will be completely charged. Mm -hmm.